Good afternoon and welcome to Blindformers. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today I will be verbally instructing you on how to transform Transformers Legacy United Rescue Bots Chase from their robot mode into their vehicle mode. So, sit back, grab your Transformer, and, uh, you know, take a listen. And before we begin, please hit the like button, share, please share. Yeah, I love it whenever my my subscribers share and random people that show up to my channel share you. Uh, it just could make me happier when you share my videos. Uh, and uh, please comment and subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know your comments. Have you found Chase? Are, are you still trying to look for Chase? Have you even known what Chase is? You know, let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Chase the Rescue Bot? So let's get into the transformation now. I've got all of his accessories put over here to the side. We're gonna Put them in the top right hand quadrant make sure they're out of the way and yeah this this is a very very unique transformation and um i i just wow so first off to um to start it all off with we're going to first reach into here under his neck area where his neck is at and we're going to try and pull out this little panel and this panel can be a bit on the problem side to pull out I know, I know, but there it goes. So this is just a panel that is just slightly larger than his head, and it has that little V indent in it for his neck, and you want to pull that forwards. It's going. It's not going to pull forwards far, but it's going to pull forwards far enough to allow the head, as you reach down here and pull the, uh, the bottom of his chest away from his waist, the, uh, this will also allow your arms here on either side to move, I think yeah there it goes and there it goes so now that you've picked up the chest here and we're folding it over the head the, you've unlocked the pins that hold these arms in so you want to pull both of these arms straight down and, oh and there it goes and there it goes okay so now he's got arms that hang down below his knees okay <laughs> got to be a joker all right uh because he's so hard to please so let's put the rest of this vehicle over uh, over his head, the windshield, and uh, you know, a little bit of a uh, front of the hood, the the uh, light bar on top of him will completely cover the top of his head area there. As it folds in, it's going to make a nice seam, and you're not even going to notice it. I, I do like that. I like how they utilize the light bar in such a way. Now we're coming down here to the arms, so... We're just going to stretch the arms out so rotate them at the rotate them at the shoulder so that the wheels would be facing down meaning they'd be facing where his chest used to be or you know towards you the camera right now and we'll make sure both of those are, are as far down as they can go and the fists will just kind of hang out just on either side of the the windshield's there. Look at that. Look at that nice little almost complete car we've got going on there. Isn't that cool? Now, let's come over here and build the rest of it. Hmm? Let's come down here over to the legs, and we're going to take and fold the legs out because they're on these long bar hinges. So fold each leg out, and then you have to rotate out the wheel. So the wheel is actually going to fold up at 90 degrees and do the same on the other side. Rotate out the entire leg. There it goes. Pull out that entire leg area and then rotate that wheel out 90 degrees. And once done, that's fun. So before we do any more with this, though, let's go ahead and make sure we've rotated both of these things. We have to close in these feet. So here's a step that we're going to take for a moment. Come over here to his accessories, and we are going to find the two claw accessories that he comes with. Okay, here's one, and here's two. So we're going to grab his claw accessories. Okay, both of them now. Pull them off of his little uh, wrist thing. Now, I have discovered this. If you put the claw accessory in here into the, uh, the siege port on the bottom of his foot, this will actually fold up. You know, the heel of that foot folds up, and now this entire foot assembly is going to rotate into the underside of this vehicle's uh, area. So, right, um, rotate the hook 
so that the rounded end of the hook <clears throat> is facing towards the heel. The heel will fold up and hang out there, actually. I think best thing to do is rotate it so that the rounded bit of the hook is actually going to be matched up with the wheels there. Yeah, I think that's the best approach. That actually looks better, too. Uh, hmm. But I do worry that that's going to cause a drag. So let's rotate it one more time, and we're going to put it the other way. There we go. Yeah, that's actually feeling a lot better. So that's how you do it. Okay. I had to remind myself, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now let's come over here to this one and put that one there. Okay, now rotate the claw so that the rounded bit of it is facing towards where we're going to be folding everything and the pointy bit is facing towards the sky at the moment. But when we flip the car over, that pointy bit's actually going to be facing the ground. So now that we've got those two pieces attached, let's go ahead and come in here and attach. There's a bar hinge in the center. You know, there's got waist, then bar hinges, then more bar hinges. But that bow, those bar hinges in the center just past the waist actually connect to each other. And once you've got those done, you're then going to have a really fun part of the transformation where we take this entire leg assembly and we're going to fold it as if he's leaning down to touch his toes. But in all actuality, what we're doing is we're moving the, um, <laughs> the top and the rear of the car around to face the front of the vehicle. And I just, I like that. I think that's so fun. It's such a weird way to do things. The Perspective Inn was talking about how cool the arms were, and I'm like, I like these legs. I think this is really fun. So make sure those are attached. And then we gotta make sure this is lined up on that side. All right, we make sure the other arm is lined up by just make, you know, kind of setting it into those feet area and lining up the panels. It's always nice to have panels that you can line up together. Now we're going to fold down that stuff. It's going to, it's going to sink down into everything quite nicely, quite nicely. Okay, now comes the difficult part. If we've done it right, we can fold this gold wing doors down, and they will both snap into place. Oh my, I did it right. Yes, yes I did. Ah, that's excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. So, ah, yeah, it's, it's attached. It's all attached. It's just a little, a little weird. But, there we go. Oh, right, I forgot to put down these, uh, these little feet parts, they actually come down and become the headlights for the vehicle mode. I, I just like that. I think that's also a fun little part of this transformation. So let's come around here and find the siege ports on either side so we can attach his flashlight to one of them on his side. And then we're going to attach the bullhorn to the other one. Now this is a part of the transformation where I was like, I really wish they had put a siege port closer. No, actually, uh, the bullhorn could go right there uh, behind the wheel. I think that's a nice place for a police officer's bullhorn. And we're going to go ahead and move the flashlight to the other side to be just behind that wheel on the other side. There we go. Now he's got a bullhorn and a flashlight on either side of his car mode. And we come over here and get the final accessory. And we just put it on the back of his engine. So in such a way we could actually plug blast effects into those back two panels if we wanted to and i think that's the way to go yeah but yeah let's just rotate it around so that there's two uh little ports are actually facing towards the light bar and that is how you transform transformers legacy united chase from robot mode to vehicle mode now before i let you go let me explain to you another reason why i absolutely love this transformation and we're not going to transform it again but i do want to show you how you begin so come over here, feel the side of this vehicle mode, and you'll find where these, um, you know, the gold wing doors have these cool exhaust vents, right? Well, you actually grab that exhaust vent and pop it up. And then you do the same on the other side, and that's how you pop up these gold wings, and that's how you start the transformation. It's very rare that we actually get a good way, like a solid point, to start a transformation from. Usually you have to figure out how to break the vehicle mode in order to transform into robot mode, but that's not the case here with Chase. Chase, you can actually come over here and pull that little panel and you've started the transformation. So, so much easier than any other way. And I absolutely love it. And that is why Chase here for transformation gets a nine out of 10. I think it is an excellent transformation and it is definitely high up there and worth the chasing. This is a fun, good transformation for a deluxe figure. I highly recommend it. 
and I thank you all so much for watching me today and listening to me today. Cream, of course, has been sleeping. Until next Pride, we'll talk about the vehicle mode tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.